A uh, pleasant good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Turfway Park Racing and Gaming, our Saturday opener at 27 minutes at 5.55. 10 races this evening. Tapita Fast, as always. How about that 20 cent, a single six, a jackpot carryover in excess of $143,000. That starts in tonight's fifth race. Let's open up our programs. There are the changes in the Saturday night opener. Scratch seven, never personal. Seven, never personal. Scratch from the opener. Three Ancient Relic has an additional workout. High Point Farm and Trading Center, 12th of January. And that was a half mile move. 51 and one fifth, breezing over a sloppy racetrack. As always, the opener will kickstart the early double, the early pick three, and the early pick five. And there they go. Elegant moves quickly into stride from the far outside along the rail. Chanel Point also fleet afoot. Will Virginia Dare is also forwardly positioned along with Maggie E. She vies for the third position. She's up close to the action. Cancer Free Kids relatively close in the fifth spot. Ancient Relic is sixth along the inside. After that race is Video Princess. She's from the far outside. And there is one at the back of the pack. And that one is Beautiful Mandate. So battling for the top spot, there goes Maggie E. Maggie E makes her move, the most experienced maiden. The lone mare has the lead past the three eights from Chanel Point. Elegant moves is in the third spot. And trying to close in from that fourth position is Video Princess, but she's a good four or five lengths from Maggie E. Maggie's the one to step up to in the Saturday night opener. She has the lead entering the lane. Video Princess currently fourth. She continues to progress Decent enough from the far outside, and she's coming with a nice run. Here comes Video Princess to the extreme outside. Maggie E's going to have to deal with Video Princess. And here's Video Princess storming up to the front. Far outside is Beautiful Mandate late on the scene, but Video Princess made the winning move, and she is the winner under the line from Beautiful Mandate. Third and fourth, very tight. Chanel Point for Elegant Moves. Number eight, Video Princess, the second choice in the wagering at five to two. You could see just past the quarter pole that she had the best stride. She hit the front and opened up. Well respected and she ran to her odds. 113 and 88 one hundredths the final time. Six beautiful mandate it was last early. Launched her charge into the second spot through the lane. And photo for third and fourth goes to one Chanel point third. Fourth place nine. Elegant moves. Eight, six, one, nine unofficially in the opener. Video Princess is in the winner's circle. A four-year-old Bay Philly by Ken Varis out of the Pioneer of the Nile Mare, Princess Vero. Owned by My Wife's Gonna Love This LLC. How about that ownership? Claude Brownfield the third, the winning edge trainer, winning edge jockey, Alvin Jimenez. Exact to $8650.80, $861 trifecta, $35.42, 10 cent super, $42.71, dollar superfecta, $427.12. Second race will start the early pick four. Four and seven, both a one pound over the weight, a Monolito and Panorama truck, four and seven, both one pound over. One West Island has an additional workout. It was right here at Turfway Park, fast as always. Back on the 4th of January, a 5 8 move, 102 and 3 fits, a breezy. Tonight's second race beginning the early pick four, 23 minutes away at 625. And there they go. Quick start, Leo's Roar. Monolito wants to go. King of the Rainbows forwardly positioned. West Island's gunning for a piece of the lead from the inside. Nice early trip for Woody the Bids Butter. He's in midfield, five lengths from the pace. Break of a length and a half the Panorama truck with Revere Note. And at the back marker, we have a couple of them. That is Vominos and on his toes. West Island up to the front and staying with him is Manolito. And in third, Leo's Roar joining King of the Rainbow. They're four lengths off the lead. And Woody the Bids Butter has lost a position to Panorama truck. Revere Note from the outside. On his toes, and Vominos are at the back. So they race to the quarter pole. Here comes Leo's roar. Leo's roar is ready to roar off the turn. 
and he has momentum to the outside. Woody the bid spotter's trying to quick it in. Panorama truck. West Island still clings to the lead. Leo's Roar with a 16th to gun him down. Leo's Roar's up to the front. Woody the bid spotter is second. Leo's Roar in front from Woody the bid spotter. Third and fourth very tight. That was either Panorama Truck or Riverno. Leo's Roar. He roared home. Had all that momentum heading into the stretch, and he was able to keep it going strongly to the line. Woody the bid spotter ran well, chasing him all the way to the wire. But it was Leo's Roar who was in a good spot at the 5 16ths. Pace battle between West Island and Monolito really shaped it up nicely for Leo's Roar. He is the unofficial winner. Good effort from nine. Woody the bid spotter. Second. Got very, very tight. Third and fourth. The final running time 105 and 93. 100. Leo's Roar is in the winner's circle. Leo's Roar, a five-year-old to beg elding by Lee out of the Carson City Mare City Roar, owned by Iron Horse Racing Stable. Tim Gleisha, the winning trainer, only fitting Tim wins. This is his last night as a trainer. He's going to be taking on a new job. We're going to honor him a little bit later on in the card. Way to go, Tim. Winning jockey, Luan Machado. Leo's Roar was bred in Indiana by Super Bad Stables, LLC. 10 cents Superfecta, $220.58. Dollar Superfecta, $2,205.80. $6.9 Exacta, $37.30. $6.97 Trifecta, $124.49. 86 early, double for a buck. $16 and a quarter. On to the third. Number four, Balenton, one pound over the weight. A double and a mid pick three. There are three additional workouts. One go, Margie, go right here at Turfway Park. Fourth of January, half mile move, 49 and three fifths breezing. Three rock star doctor on the 12th of January. Churchill training, half mile move, 49 and four fifths breezing in the mud. And the six fancy full thoroughbred training center on the 26th of January. Fast racetrack, half mile move, 49 seconds breezing. Third race, 6.54 is the post time, less than 23 minutes away. And there they go. Twilight Sonata is showing zip from the far outside. Myla June's also quickly away. Here's Go Margie Go, really being hustled along from the inside along with Run Run Rabbit. So the two inside posts are the quickest. Run Run Rabbit and Go Margie Go. Go Margie Go will concede the lead. Run Run Rabbit picks it up, immediately tackled by Myla Junes. Margie still wants to go. She better sit chilly. Go Margie Go, now back to the third. Now she's much more relaxed. To her outside, races Twilight Sonata. And even further out in the field is Fancyful. It's a break of at least two lengths to Balenton, who races with Rockstar Doctor. And most sense is a little more than six lengths from the front. Myla June's now picking it up from Run Run Rabbit. Go Margie Go is third. And right there with her, with her are both a Twilight Sonata and from the outside, Fancyful. Rockstar Doctor gets within four lengths heading into the turn. Most Sense is now picking up her best stride. Here comes Most Sense. She's out of last. She's six lengths from Myla Junes. And towards the tail is Balenton. Myla Junes running a good one. Myla Junes has opened up. She has more than three lengths at the quarter pole. In the second spot is Run Run Rabbit. And farther out in the field is Fancyful. Go Margie Go from the inside. Most Sense continues to improve positions, but she's very wide off the turn. Myla Junes past the 3 16ths with the lead. Go Margie Goes making her move. And following after her, Most Sense. Go Margie Goes ready to tackle Myla Junes. Most Sense, can she get there in time? She's third. Go Margie Go now tackling Myla Junes. Most Sense third. Myla Junes responds. She wanted it this evening. Big run from her. Myla Junes, go Margie, go second. Most sense third. Then we have a photo for fourth. Run, run, rabbit, and Rockstar Doctor. Pretty tight finish. Myla Junes and go Margie, go. It's a big time effort from a five. Myla Junes, boy, she was eager to really go tackle. Run, run, rabbit through that clubhouse turn. Go Margie, go decided to concede the lead to both the five and the two. 
Five just kept on going. Amila Junes built up a big lead near the quarter pole. You can see Go Margie Go in most sense. We're going to put in big charges, but it is five. Myla Junes who hangs on. She's the unofficial winner. 142 and 27 one hundreds. One go, Amarji go, second, third place, seven, Mosens, fourth place, two, run, run, rabbit. Myla Junes, big effort from her this evening, a three-year-old Bay Philly by Tapature out of the overanalyzed mare over the rocks. Owned by Shelter We Farm. Michael Evans, the second, the winning edge, trainer, winning jockey, Sunny Leone. The winner was Red in Kentucky by Equus Farm. 10 cents super, $98.71. Dollar super vector, $987.15. Eight six five early pick three, fifty-two dollars ninety-four cents. A five one exacta from the third, sixty-four dollars twelve cents. Five one seven trifecta, sixty-eight dollars forty-six cents. Forty dollars and ninety-five cents for that daily double. Six five, the winning combination. Our fourth race will offer a middle pick four this evening. Three pick fours with the 10 race card. Middle pick four starts here in the fourth. No changes. Post time in 24 minutes is 724. When it comes to horse racing, you can never have too much information. With Twin Spires, you can place your bets with confidence. Whether you use handicapping insights like our Brisnet speed ratings, prime power and past performances, the guidance of our experts' top picks, or just choose a name that catches your eye. Yes! No matter how you pick your horse, bet with Twin Spires and use stable alerts to never miss a bet. And there they go. Eternal Bliss quickly into stride from the far outside. Study Committee is showing pace with Golden Rain. Mendel Secret wants to go. He's in the third spot. Eternal Bliss will ration his energy and settle into a mid-pack position. Motivating strides into fourth. Eternal Bliss broke very aggressively. Now he settles off the pace in the fifth spot. And he's six lengths off the lead, headed by Gamer. Fort Lowell from the inside. The last two are Southern Crush and Fierce Assault. Golden Rain is the speed of the speed. He leads by a length to study committee. Motivating's worked into a good spot. He's in the clear from the outside, and he is pursuing Golden Rain at the 3-8. Mendel Secret is five lengths from the front. Another length to Gamer. Eternal Bliss is going to have to giddy up from there. Here's Ferris Assault advancing to his outside. Ferris Assault has some momentum midway through the turn. He's trying to close to the extreme outside. He's gone from seventh to fifth, and he's making a move for third, still sustaining his run. They got to step up to the lung shot golden rain 36 to 1 first assault and motivating are trying to come and get him golden rain still with the lead and he's kicked clear first assault is picking up his stride to the outside this one could get a little interesting perhaps golden rain first assault nope not going to get interesting at all i guess it's very interesting if you have golden rain 36 to 1 first assault solidified second but he couldn't bridge the gap farther back gamer study committee in fort lowell Thirty-six to one, Golden Rain, a Sunny Leone once again. Seven first assault really had a big stride. I thought he was going to be able to bridge the gap and make it interesting. Not the case. Golden Rain was able to keep on chugging. Twenty-two and two fifths, forty-five and three fifths. It's a big effort from him. Big long shots, longest shots on the board are on a one-two. Third place, six gamers. So we have eight, seven, six. Photo for the fourth spot. That final running time, 118 and 11 100s. And the winner's circle is number eight, Golden Rain. Golden Rain is a four-year-old bay gelding by Golden Sense out of the Street Sense Mare Eureka. Owned by Stony Brook Farm Trust. Winning a trainer is George Bush. It's back-to-back -back for Sonny Leo. Sonny is shining on this rainy evening here at Turfway Park. The winner was bred in New York by McMahon of Saratoga Thoroughbred LLC along with Spruce Lane Farm. Kyle Bujakian and others. That exact to $894.22. 876 trifecta, $1,229.50. Sonny Leone's double, 58, $128.95. Here we go, 10 cents super, $1,300.52. That dollar super, $13,005.28.
So some big payoffs thanks to Golden Rain. I'll get you that pick three here in just a little bit. Six, five, eight, the winning combination, $1,222.10. On to the fifth. 24 minutes away, 7.55 is the post time. Tonight's fifth race will start our 20 cent single six jackpot. That carryover is in excess of $143,000. Here are the changes in the sequence. Fifth race, scratches one seven and both of the also eligibles, 13 and 14. Wanna go camping, extraordinary motion, storm charging and snuggler. One seven, 13 and 14 all out of the fifth. Just about ready for the 20 cent single six jackpot. And there they go. And it's a good start for Deep Dish. One from the outside. Deep Dish is showing a plenty of pace with Schuylerville and Beautiful Temple from the inside. Bodie's Rose comes away running in fourth. Inner Harbor from the outside. Domicia Lucia from the inside. After them races Night Kiss, who races with Sure Enough. La Compressita second last inside of Spicy Sommelier. And it's Beautiful Temple who has the lead. Plenty of pursuers. Skylerville, here's Inner Harbor with a flashy move. Night Kiss is making up ground to the extreme outside. So here's Inner Harbor putting her head in front at the quarter pole. Beautiful Temple second. Night Kiss ranges into the scene from third. Following in her footsteps, Bodie's Rose. Skylerville's in the fifth spot. And sure enough, trying to crank up to the extreme outside. Inner Harbor has the lead off the turn. But for how long? Here comes Bodie's Rose at a big, big prize. Bodie's Rose up to the front at the 16th. Inner Harbor doesn't have much in response. Bodie's Rose bombs away at 25 to 1. Inner Harbor second. Sure enough, third along the inside. La Compresita for the Superfecta. Bombs away to start the 20 cent a single six a jackpot eight. A Bodies arose at 25 to 1. Nine inner harbor, second best. Third place, 10, sure enough. And fourth place, number two, La Compresita. One minute five and 95 one hundredths. Make sure to hold all tickets. And the winner's circle is eight, Bodie's Rose at 25 to one, a five-year-old dark bear brown mare by Bodie Meister out of the Indian Charlie Mare, female drama. Owned by Pocket Aces Racing, LLC, along with Susan Anderson Racing, LLC. Susan is the winning a trainer, the winning a jockey, German Terraza. Eight, nine, 10, two, that early pick four. Three out of four, $477.08. That's how difficult it was. Eight, nine, exact, the $431.62. Eight, nine, 10, a trifecta, $530.76. Eight, eight, double, New York and Ohio bread double, $353.79. Ten cent super, eleven hundred forty dollars thirty-eight cents. Big dollar super, eleven thousand four hundred three dollars eighty-five cents. Huge pick three, thirty-three hundred eighty-one dollars twenty-one cents. Pale in comparison to the early pick five. Get a load of this one, forty-five thousand three hundred twenty dollars and some spare change. Look like about eighty-four cents. Kind of irrelevant when you got forty-five k cashing in. Life is a gambler, though. You never know. Maybe you'll need that 80 cents for the super and the night. Yeah. It's race six. We'll start our late pick five. 45K in the early one. Let's see how the late one develops. In tonight, six. Scratch seven. Tis wicked strong. Seven. Tis wicked strong out of the six. Five. Coach Petro. One pound over the way. 23 minutes away. 825 is the post turn. And there they go. Slow start, Miracle on Ice. Saturday Long Legs fires out to the lead with Speed Institute. Summon your courage is forwardly positioned. Polyglot's trying to get position, although he will be wide entering the first turn. My boy Tony gets a little better trip to his immediate inside. So it is Saturday Long Legs pressed along by Speed Institute. Summon your courage is third. My boy Tony from between runners, Polyglot is three wide. That group of three are two and a half off the two pacemakers. Two lengths to Fayette Spirit with Bless America. 
Break of nearly six lengths to Miracle on Ice. And Coach Petro is the last of all in that opening quarter, one in 23 and four fifths. Saturday long legs pressed along by Speed Institute. Summon Your Courage has been getting a nice trip along the inside. Polyglot remains three wide. My boy Tony Middleman status in the fifth spot, little less than three off the lead. Fayette Spirit four lengths from the front. Bless America, a little shy of five off the lead. Coach Petro's trying to pick up his momentum heading into the turn. He is at least three or four wide past the three eights. And at the tail of the field is Miracle on Ice. Saturday long legs still at the lead, but there are plenty of pursuers including Bless America. Summon your courage from the rail. Miracle on Ice with the sweeping move to the outside. Fayette Spirit needs somewhere to go. Bless America. Miracle on Ice to the far outside. And up the inside, summon your courage. Bless America to the outside. Miracle on Ice. Summon your courage. And here's Fayette Spirit. He finds a split in the two path. And can he close in? He's got a lot of momentum up the inside. But it's Miracle on Ice who got a much cleaner trip, and it's going to get him to the winner's circle. Miracle on Ice from Fayette Spirit. Bless America and summon your courage. Checked in fourth for the Superfecta. For Miracle on Ice, do you believe in miracles? 10 to 1, Al Michaels does Miracle on Ice. Abel Cedillo continues with his hot hand. He had three a couple of nights ago. Had a big night last night. He's having a pretty good week. Abel Cedillo, Miracle on Ice with that big sweeping move. Fayette Spirit had all sorts of issues. He just could add nowhere to really go, and Miracle on Ice took advantage with a much clearer path to the leader line, and it propelled him all the way to the wire. That final running time was 146 and 28 one hundredths, 146 and 28 one hundredths. For Miracle on Ice is the unofficial winner. Second place one, Fayette Spirit. Third place two, Bless America. Fourth place three, Summon Your Courage. Four, one, two, three, unofficially in tonight's six. Miracle on Ice, a five-year-old bay horse by Dialed In out of the Victory Gallup Mare Magical Victory, owned by Bo Hirsch, LLC. Winning trainer Byron Hughes, winning jockey Abel Cedillo. The winner was bred in Kentucky by his owner, Bo Hirsch, LLC. That exact at $109.08, the trifecta $162.90, 842 $223.90. $0.10 superfecta, $100 and a couple of pennies. The Buck Super, $1,000.29. Look at the pick three, 884, huge, better than 14 Gs. Get back to that precise payoff, absolutely huge pick three. 50 cent pick three, eight, eight, four, fourteen thousand seven hundred ninety three dollars and two cents. Ten races, seventh race starts our late pick four, scratch nine, embrace the seventh race, 21 minutes away at 853. And there they go. Good on you, showing pace with graphic detail. Counter strikes the quickest away. La Belleza Negra attends the pace. Pink Silks with the black cap. Here's my buddy B showing some speed along the inside. Nifty has the fifth spot. Long Lance is six. Good on you, broke alertly, settles off the pace. And Torres is the last of all. La Belleza Negra has the lead, half a length to counter strike. Graphic detail stocks from the clear on the outside. My buddy B from the inside and Nifty from between runners. Good on you, races outside of Long Lance. They have more than three lengths to make up. Not a lot of pace on for this kind of quality. 23 and one fifth. And Torres is at the back. Counter Strike has come away with the lead. La Belleza Negra is under a drive from the inside. Graphic detail takes over second. Counter Strike looks like he's going pretty good up front. Counter Strike's the one to beat. Graphic detail gets within a length. La Belleza Negra being pushed on. And after that is Nifty with my buddy B and Torres from the inside. And then good on you and Long Lance. Still got to step up to counter strike. Graphic details testing him to the outside. Here's graphic detail. He's all over counter strike. And Torres now tips into the clear. And he's coming with a big run. Graphic detail in and Torres. And Torres. What a huge run from him. Thought it was all about Counter-Strike and graphic detail. In the meantime, here's the Antares coming to claim it all.
What a big effort from number one, Antares. Disqualified from a victory in this condition in his recent start today, he said, hey, you know what? It's all about me, Antares. That's a big run. Counter-Strike was really going well at the top of the lane. Graphic detail, a sharp customer. Thought it was down to those two, and just in a blink of an eye, here comes the Antares. Very, very nice ride by Gerardo Corrales. Patient, very patient ride by Mr. Corrales. One Antares up in time from six graphic detail. Third place, five Counter-Strike. Fourth place, two, my buddy B. 117 and 97 one-hundredths, the final time. Very impressive victory, number one, Antares, a four-year-old chestnut gelding by American Pharaoh out of the Dynaformer Mare Alpha Centauri. Owned by Matheson Racing, LLC. Williams Family Trust. Holger Holdings. And Barry Hall. Billy Mori, the winning trainer. Excellent ride by Gerardo Corrales. When it was bred in Kentucky by Overbrook Farr. Middle of pick four, another big one, $32,847.42. That's a really big pick four. Pick three, eight, four, one, five hundred fourteen dollars and thirty-two cents. Early pick five in excess of forty-five thousand dollars. Middle pick four, better than thirty-two k. That exact the seventeen dollars seventy cents trifecta, seventeen dollars forty-four cents. The double fifty-three dollars ninety-four cents. Middle pick four, thirty-two thousand eight hundred forty-seven dollars forty-two cents. Ten cents super, nineteen dollars seventy-one cents. Dollar super, one hundred ninety-seven dollars thirteen cents. Race eight is our Saturday feature, the thirty-first running of the Wishing Well. One hundred and twenty-five thousand dollars guaranteed. Six and a half furlongs, fillies and mares, four-year-olds and up. There are four scratches, one super Munnings, four loyalty, nine up and down, and eleven Stella Noir. One, four, nine, and 11 out of the Saturday feature, which will commence our late pick three. 22 minutes away, 925 is the post time. Race eight is our Saturday featured event, the 31st running of the Wishing Well, $125,000 guaranteed. Phillies and mares, four year olds and up, six and a half furlongs. One, four, nine, and 11 all scratched. Super Munnings, Loyalty, Up and Down, and Stella Noir. First leg of our late pick three. Post time in about five minutes. Let's meet the field, beginning with the two, Heartful Hope. She is owned by Jimmer Racing, LLC, conditioned by Joel de la Cruz Mejia. Her jockey is Pedro Uds. Three is Ravella, owned by Matheson Racing, LLC, Polger Holding, Williams a Family a Trust, Barry Hall and John Haynes, Billy Mori, the trainer, the jockey, Axel Concepcion. The five is Napa Candy, owned by Donald Disney, LLC, Vicky Oliver, the trainer, the jockey, Rafael Hernandez. Six is Baby No Worries, owned by Jenny Burke Stables, conditioned by Tim Gerton, the pilot Walter Rodriguez. Seven is Marissa's Lady, owned by Boone Family Trust, along with Telema Family Trust. Billy Mori, the trader, Gerardo Corrales, looking for back-to-back -back winners, along with Billy Mori. Eight is BG Warrior, owned by Keith Grass, conditioned by Hugo Andretti, and the jockey is Albin Jimenez. Ten is a Secret Operation, owned and trained by Michael Slager, in the Irons, Corey Orm. And the 12 is Godolphins, twice as sweet, conditioned by Brendan Walsh. The jockey is Declan Gannon. Those are the eight fillies and mares for the Saturday night feature, the 31st running of the Wishing Well, and post time is in four minutes. Twice as sweet will be the last of eight to the far outside. One to two, Morris's Lady. There's twice as sweet, ready for the Saturday night featured event. And there they go in the 31st running of the Wishing Well. Just a slight stumble from Marissa's Lady, but she is forwardly positioned. BG Warrior expected pacemaker on the lead. Twice as sweet second, Marissa's Lady with a quick full recovery. She's only two lengths off the lead. From the inside races Ravella. Secret operation from her outside. About seven lengths from BG Warrior. From the inside is Hopeful Heart. Baby No Worries and Napa Candy are at the back. BG Warrior, 22 and one fifth, zipping along, building up five lengths, heading into the turn from Marissa's Lady. 
Twice as sweet as third. Ravella has the fourth spot. She's nine lengths off the lead, but she has some momentum at the three eights. She's about two lengths behind her stablemate, Marissa's Lady. BG Warrior still with a huge lead to herself. BG Warrior has the lead. Ravella has moved in front of Marissa's Lady at the five sixteens. Then Baby No Worries striding into the fourth spot. And Secret Operations into the fifth position. But BG Warriors running a big one this evening. She's all alone near the eighth pole. Ravella is second with Marissa's Lady. Baby No Worries is picking up her best stride to the far outside. But BG Warrior meant business from the very beginning. Look at BG Warrior, a powerful gate-to-wire winner in the Wishing Well Stakes. Baby No Worries up for second. Ravella third. Not tonight for Marissa's Lady. She finishes fourth. How about the effort from BG Warrior, a dominating winner? Spectacular display of speed. BG Warrior zipping along that opening quarter in 22 and one fifth, a half and 44 and four. And she was all alone turning into the stretch and she kept on going all the way to the wire. Career best effort from BG Warrior. A dominating winner of the 31st running of the Wishing Well Stakes. She covered the distance in 117 and 32 one hundreds. Here comes BG Warrior, winner circle in the paddock this evening. The rare best effort from this four-year-old Dark Bay or Brown Philly by Runaway at Hyde out of the Any Given Saturday Mare, Piaggio's Gift by Keith Grass. Winning a trainer is Hugo Andrade. The winning a jockey is Alban Imenez. It was bred in Kentucky by Lou Dunn D. Kemper Trust. Congratulations to the connections of BG Warrior. Trophy presentation. BG Warrior. Big time winner of the Wishing Well. 86 exact to $184.84. 863 trifecta. Get back to that payoff. The 10 cent superfecta, $116.17. Dollar superfecta, $1161.78. 418 pick three, $125.07. 863 trifecta, $256.22. 18 daily double, $13.88. Couple races to go on the Saturday card. Race nine begins our late daily double. Six spirit catcher scratched along with the 12, a moonshine, a dreamer. One kit can run. An additional workout, Churchill training. A 25th of July half mile move, 53 and four fifths. Brazing over a muddy racetrack. The late double in 22 minutes at 9.55. When it comes to horse racing, you can never have too much information. With Twin Spires, you can place your bets with confidence. Whether you use handicapping insights, like our Brisnet speed ratings, prime power and past performances, the guidance of our experts' top picks, or just choose a name that catches your eye. Yes! No matter how you pick your horse, bet with Twin Spires and use stable alerts to never miss a bet. Celestial spin acting up. And there they go. Lady Hamilton made a mess of the start. She comes away in last. Capital Gal begins the best. Recognize me as up close with Celestial Spin. Lieutenant Kitty from the inside. Kit Can Run has the rail positioning. She is towards the tail of the field. Capital Gal has the lead under Abel Cedillo, trying to establish a very soft pace. Celestial Spin is second. Lieutenant Kitty third from the inside. Right there with her is Recognize Me. Caribbean Knight is about four lengths off the lead. And right there with her, both Lady Hamilton three deep and Trick Hat in the two path. Cinderella Story is second last in the early trailer as Kit Can Run. Not a lot of pace on. Capital Gal and Abel Cedillo, the Finger Lakes Invader, three parts of a length. Celestial Spin is second. And it is Capital Gal. Capital Gal has the lead a length and a half. Going to speed it up just a little bit. Celestial Spin is second. From the outside is Recognize Me. And from the rail races Lieutenant Kitty. Lieutenant Kitty headed by Caribbean Knight who takes over the fourth spot. And there's Lady Hamilton now trying to stride into fifth. Trick Hat has the sixth spot. Lieutenant Kitty's going in the wrong direction. Headed by Cinderella Story. Kit Can Run still at the back. Capital Gal has led the entire trip. 
And she still looks pretty strong. Capital Gal with a very favorable flow. And she opens up nearly three lengths. Celestial Spin is second. Here's one circling to the far outside. Cinderella Story. Capital Gal, not a lot of excuses. She was able to control a very soft pace. Abel Cedillo's been having a heck of a week. They need one furlong for the money. Cinderella Story makes a move into second. Capital Gal has the lead. Capital Gal all the way. Cinderella Story second. From her inside is Caribbean Night. And fourth place goes to Trick Hat for the Superfecta. From Finger Lakes. I know she had a stop at Mahoning in between, but hey, I saw this girl run all summer in 2023, all the way to the conclusion of the Finger Lakes season. How about this New York bred Capital Gal all the way? A wire to wire winner, 149 and 37 one hundredths. Abel Cedillo with a hot week. Ian Byron Hughes with doubles. Capital Gal. Five Cinderella Story, second, third place, nine Caribbean Night, and fourth place, 11 Trick Cat. Make sure to hold all tickets. Entering the winner's circle is two Capital Gal, wire to wire winner, five year old Bay Mare by Constitution out of the big drama mare, big thrill. Owned by Breeze Partners. Doubles for Byron Hughes and Abel Cedillo. The winner was bred in New York by Twin Creeks Farm. That's two New York breads on the Saturday card or at Turfway Park Racing and Gaming. Ladies and gentlemen, tonight Turfway Park is very proud to honor trainer Tim Gleishaw. Tim is concluding his career as a thoroughbred trainer. He is moving on to a new career as the executive director of the Indiana HBPA beginning on February 1st. It all started back in 2004, ironically enough, with a Deerfield Farm trainee named Clearly a Vixen. Just concluded with the Deerfield trainee runner, Lieutenant Kitty. Pretty cool that Tim already got to the winner's circle earlier on the card with Leo's Roar in the second race. Tim had 552 winners. His earnings of nearly $16 million. Had some pretty nice racehorses throughout his time as a thoroughbred trader. Bullard's Alley. He won a big grade one race at Woodbine. The Patterson Canadian International. Unreachable Star made $784,000. Bullard's Alley made $928,000. Buchero, or Buchero, my apologies for the pronunciation. This horse won a great two race and made $724,000. Tonight, we are very proud to honor Tim Gleishaw. We wish you the very best, Tim, in your new career as the executive director of the Indiana HBPA beginning on February 1st. And the ninth race is in the books officially, 25911. We did have a late scratch at the seven. The 187 Constellation picked three seven dollars sixteen cents. A two five exact at one hundred sixty three dollars seventy eight cents. Two five nine a trifecta two hundred eighty eight dollars ten cents. Eight two double fifty two dollars fourteen cents. Eight seven double five dollars nine cents. Ten cent super two hundred forty six dollars eighty four cents. The dollar super twenty four hundred sixty eight dollars forty eight cents. I think that's what it was close to it. One eight two pick three fifty two dollars seven cents. One more race to go on the Saturday card. One more race at the work week for the work week here at Turfway Park Racing and Gaming. A super high five opportunity in the nightcap. Scratch two, redheaded stranger. Two, redheaded stranger was a late scratch. Also scratching six, closing prayer. We had a scratch earlier in the evening of the 12 innocent nights. So we have two, six, and 12 all scratched from the nightcap. 13 draws in, and we'll pick up the services of Luan Machado. Our Saturday nightcap in 21 minutes at 10.30 a.m. And there they go. Ice water comes away at last. Evocation is showing good speed. Yummy, yummy Bella's there along with Trouble with Sugar. And also amongst the leading group is Bright Lady Day. From the far outside is Midnight Angel. Catalina Nina advances with the green cap. Chiquita Reina is progressing along the inside. And following after her, Midnight Angel from the far outside and Heavenly Dream along the inside. Musical note is second last in ice water is the last of all. Yummy, yummy, Bella. Bright Lady Day. Midnight Angel from the top shelf cruising into contention. Trouble with Sugars back to the fourth spot. Heavenly Dream tries to make a move for that position. Here's Midnight Angel traveling well enough to the quarter pole. Come and beat her for all the money. 
And Heavenly Dream has a look. She's closing in nicely. So Midnight Angel has the lead. Heavenly Dream has momentum at the quarter pole. Musical Note has ranged into the scene. She's third. It is Midnight Angel with the lead. Heavenly Dream right alongside. Heavenly Dream trying to trigger a carryover to the far outside is Musical Note. She's trying to win somebody just under $200,000. And here she comes to the outside. Musical Note. Somebody's going to scoop the pick six. Just under 200 k here at Turfway Park. Heavenly Dream checked in second. Musical note, winning debutante. Somebody just scooped the 20 cent single six jackpot. Musical note, winning debutante Axel Concepcion and Brad Cox. Heavenly Dream ran big, likewise for Midnight Angel, but it is the 10 musical note. $199,000 plus payoff in the 20 cent single six jackpot. That final running time, 118 and 15 one hundredths. 10 musical note, the unofficial winner. Good effort, seven heavenly dream. Third place, 13 midnight angel. Fourth place, one ice water. Fifth place, 11 evocation. For the super high five, make sure to hold all tickets. Winning a debutante, a musical note, three-year-old gray Road Philly by Mendelssohn out of the Fort Larned Mare, a blonde bomber. Well, by Mia Comet Farm, winning trainer Brad Cox, winning jockey Axel Concepcion. The winner was Brett in Kentucky by Clarkland Farm, LLC. 8 to 10, 8 to 10, 8 to 10, pick three, 77 dollars 4 cents. 10, 7 exacta from the nightcap, 28 dollars 32 cents. 10, 7, 13 trifecta. $62.63, $210 late double, $22 and some change. $22.26 for that late double. Late pick four, $240.38. 10 cents, super $71.78. Dollar super $717.82. Just under $200,000 for the 20 cent single six jackpot. 8, 7, 10, consolation pick three, $10.39. 822 consolation version, $19 and some change. The late pick five, $2,708.09. Four out of five, $31.75. Super high five. $406 and a nickel. But the story of the evening, we had a big early pick five. We had a big middle pick four. They are both pale in comparison to the 20 cent single six a jackpot. Somebody just scooped it and won just shy of $200,000. $199,591.59. That's it for the Saturday card. Stick around, all sorts of great entertainment down on the gaming floor. If you're into live music, we've got a band going all the way up until about midnight, a Varner Netherton band. We also encourage you to sign up and be part of our Players Club with that $50 sign-up bonus that pays to be part of our Players Club. Sure hope you had a great Saturday evening. We'll be back at it again on Wednesday, 5.55. When leaving the track, please drive very carefully. This has been Racing from Turfway Park Racing and gave me good night everyone.